Hey guys, welcome back to Dungeon Rope Put Sugar Happy Havoc. I almost said Pokemon. Whoops. Um, I guess we're gonna be starting chapter three in this episode, so let's get going. Lots of dots. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Asahina, yo! You hot! Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this, but seriously, that's really loud. Okay, that was really loud. Okay. I can't cry. I know that. B but I... Uh, I can't. I can't take this anymore. I want out. No. 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 I can't. I can't think about wanting out. If I think like that, even I'll... Even you'll murder someone. I swear, if you're the next murderer, I know who the next victim is. I don't know who the next murderer is. And then after that, I think I know who the next murderer and victim is. And after that, I'm clueless. Donuts. I'll have some donuts. Then I know I'll feel better. You go do that, Asakina. Oh, wow. Asakina, your room's a little messy. Ring donuts, crullers, donut holes, jelly filled, masaladas, sarang doggy. I don't know what that is. Oh, patron saint of pastry, grace me with the warmth of your oven so that I might find true deliciousness. She's so cute. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. Please forgive me for breaking curfew, but right now I'm in dire need of donuts. Bzz, click? Huh? Bzz, click, click, warp, warp. What was that sound? Click, click. Mm. It sounds like it's coming from the bath. Lots of beeping. Mm. I'm scared, but... You should probably go check that out. H hello Is anybody there? Uh, gasp! Ah, what the frick? I'm with you, Asahino. What the frickity... Oh, no. Oh, no, Hifumi. Neon Genesis Super Vortex Redo. Rise, Armored Hero. <laughs> you cannot rise, Armored Hero. <laughs> the morning after the second class trial. Okay. What? Is that supposed to be a little weird looking there? Oh, that's a light. Okay, I'm talking about the chapter three thing in the corner. We gathered together like usual in our usual spot in the cafeteria. And as usual, had held our usual breakfast assembly. Or so we should have, but... <sighs> Not a great turnout today, dudes. Kawa and Toex are out. No change in that, but... Master Aoi Asahina is also nowhere to be seen. Asahina says she has a stomachache. She's resting in her room today. <laughs> That's unusual. She's usually so bubbly. Oh. Indeed, I am rather concerned for her. Yeah. So that just leaves the seven of us. That's how it looks. No, no. Alright, chair dude, time to take the reins and crack! Uh, oh, Ishimaru, babe. Guess not. Ishimaru! Ishimaru hadn't so much as opened his mouth after what had happened last night. And it was apparent from his face he hadn't slept a wink either. He's gotta be in shock after that. <sighs> Don't remind me! To learn his close friend, Awada, had murdered Fujisaki. And then to watch that happen to him. I'm sorry, I'm trying to fix my foot. It's no surprise he's in this condition. Yafumi, what bullshit do you have to contribute? At any rate, what shall we do from here? We can't find an exit, and nobody's coming to save us. Oh, just saying so depresses me. We just need to make friends and live here together peacefully. Forget about the outside world and embrace our new lives here. That is our one glimmer of hope now. I can't imagine living in this place forever. Yeah. We have food and clothing in abundance, and no lack of conveniences. Mm. What is there to be dissatisfied about? I ask you, what more does the outside world have to offer? Competition, discrimination, sacrifice, violence. As society grows in size, so too does it sadism. On the contrary, we're better off here. <laughs> Heretical angel super squishy princess! Huh? What was that? <laughs> Drill shot Mangu, the bunny here Amazon is cat girl dog boy, galactic king justice robo with cat girl dog boy? Sounds like a really bad anime. And, and, and! <laughs> at any rate, there's Oh god, Hifumi, why? It is because you and everyone else cling to your desires that the Puppet Master has so much control. Anyway, dudes, with the ish in the shape he's in, it's up to me, the eldest, to rally the troops, dude. That being said, I declare today our group exploration day. Exploration? Since we made it through another class trial, there should be additional areas we can now visit. Bullseye, dude! We're definitely fine. We're de we'll, we'll definitely find some clues this time. Very well. After breakfast, we shall split up and begin the exploration. Is that agreeable, Celeste? <laughs> I'm certain there are discoveries just waiting to be made that will further enrich our lives here. Mm. Um, my search for clues! Then she burst into the room, stopping the conversation dead in its tracks. Yeah, you called and I came! How you do? We didn't call you! We didn't call you! And why is it 
Genocider Show and not Kawa, dude? A homicidal maniac like me, free to prance around to my heart's content. This school is bloody wonderful. That's why I've decided to stop holding back and spread my wings. No more lurking around. Plus, I've got something to fight for. Classic mystery stories that lo Oh, God, hold on. Classic mystery stories love to use... Oh, okay, I see. Classic mystery stories love to use DID as an easy scapegoat, keeping people like me a bad name. So I will do battle day in and day out to clear my reputation. But that's exactly what you are, dude. Uh, were she not here, our chances of survival would increase a full 10%. Keep crying for me, baby. I love being recognized for who I am. <laughs> Regardless, we should first have breakfast. We cannot accomplish anything while hungry. Yeah, you're right. Let's hurry up and eat and then start our investigation. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. I really like voice and genocide our show. Even if my voice sounds awful, it's really fun. Breakfast with a homicidal maniac, having survived such a momentous experience, we quickly began our investigation. Alright, we get to roam the halls. We need to go find Asatino, so I'm gonna go to the bath first. Um, exit. Why does it just not, why doesn't it just like leave me out of there? Okay, I know she went to the bathhouse and found something. So let's investigate the bathhouse first. It had Chihiro's face on it, so I'm really freaking worried. There is an open locker. Um, there are lockers. Not terribly interesting. What? But alter ego. I know it's called something like alter ego or something. It's all I know though. Okay, I guess not. Uh, let's go find some new areas first. Maybe these stairs over here are unlocked. Nope, oh, or not. Okay, we got the bathhouse. Oh, maybe that room. There's like a lover room thing. It was closed off before. Oh, and the infirmary. The infirmary was closed off before. Maybe that's open now. Probably not, but maybe. <laughs> so these are the little things I know nothing about, so I'm really excited. Oh my God, it's open. Oh, the lover's room was the infirmary. <laughs> Ah, the door's unlocked. Looks like we can go in here now, too. <sighs> Sorry, I forgot this was the infirmary. I don't know if there's anything interesting in here, but... Mm, oh, God, what the fuck is this thing? Okay. What can we investigate? Like, nothing! The fuck? This is a trash bin. It's empty, so I'm not paying any mind. Yeah, probably. Okay, this is a refrigerator? What is with this? It's a refrigerator. I wonder if it's for keeping medical supplies cool. Uh, maybe it's just for, you know, snacks for on the job. Wow, I have a lot of Monokuma coins. Should probably use those to go get some presents. What's the deal with these screens? What kind of company even made them? Monokuma Co. is written on the side. He pays a funny sort of attention to detail. Or maybe he's company actually- He's company? He's company? His company actually made it. It's a security camera. Right the second the puppet master is on the other side. Thinking about it pisses me off, but there's nothing I can do. Can I investigate the beds? I don't see anything else I can investigate. That's kind of lame. Is that the only new area we get access to? That sucks if it is. Because, I mean, there was nothing to investigate in there, and I don't know if that area will be very important. Okay, Agakuri, what you got to say? Nothing's changed on this floor, dude. But the shutters by the stairs to the third floor have been opened. I bet we can get to the third floor now, dude, and I bet there's all sorts of stuff there, dude! Please stop saying dude, or I'm going to punch you in the face. Agakuri, babe, I love you, but you're really annoying sometimes. I kind of want to hurt you. So this floor is then clean. Where are the stairs to the third floor? I don't even remember. Um, wait, were they by just the other stairs? Were they just by the other stairs? Or am I? Oh, no, 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 they're right here. Okay. I'm like, where are the other stairs again? Uh, let's go up to the third floor and see what's up here. Ooh, it's purple. Looks like Kibo Kamina's Academy third floor opened up this time. I wonder what's here. All right, let's see. Uh, looks like we can still go up. So there's still another room. Rec room? Rec room. Hmm, wonder what's in here. Uh, oh, a bunch of games and stuff. Of course Celeste is in here. Um, this is a recreation room. Somewhere for the students to rest and relax. I'm impressed there's a room like this in the school. If this were a normal school, you'd be right. Othello and Shogi, darts and even billiards. And look at this. What is that? There's quite the variety of magazines. We have no d dearth. Dearth. I don't know what that word is. Of cures for boredom. Monokuma. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. I have some additional intelligence. While there's fashion, motorcycle, martial arts, gaming, baseball, soccer, PC mags, and more. You won't find anything dirty. I mean, this is a school. You'll just have 
to live with a few risque pinups. When new issues of, the issues of these magazines are published, will, we, will they be made available to us? No can do. Even if I want to do the magazines themselves. Huh? Ah, never mind. That's all they tell for now. Bye-bye. I wonder if the magazines are even current. Hmm, I'm a little perplexed about what Monokum said. It's a pity. I would quite enrich... It would quite enrich our lives if we were to receive new reading material from time to time. Y yeah Well, you'd think, but that would give away new news, which is a problem. Okay, billiard stables and schools don't really mesh. Is this what was doing, or was it always here? Who knows? It looks like a game of Othello. This is an Othello board. It's not too great. I'm not too great at that game. I love Othello. I'm horrible at it, but I really love it. Okay, was there only two there? No, there were three, but what's the third one? Oh, okay. Sort of a classy table. It somehow feels different from the desks in the classroom. It looks like I can investigate... Uh, so let's move out of the way, please. Uh, wait, what? Oh, I can investigate the camera. Okay, I see. Can you can you get to the camera, please? Thank you. Even after I leave this place, it'll probably be a while before I can look at a, look at a security camera. Yeah. That's for sure. Uh, what's in here? These screens really are everywhere. Well, getting bothered by it isn't going to help anything, so I'll just let it be. Before I used to get a thing from investigating those, so I just want to investigate them all the time. Um, wait, it just said I could investigate this, didn't it? Oh, the thing's up here. Okay, I see. Um, oh, there's a locker. These look like bottles of some sort? I don't really understand, but I guess it's some kind of interior decorating. That looks like Monokuma with a king's piece. Hmm. There's a wide variety of magazines arranged on this magazine stand. There are even some manga magazines, though. It's kind of cruel we can't read the continuation. Yeah, I don't think Hifumi would fucking care, though. <laughs> He'd read it anyways. He'd read all of them every single day until he memorized all the lines. It's a sturdy-looking leather sofa. Oh, whoops, there was more to that. Sorry, I hit the wrong button. Uh, it doesn't look that bad, actually. Oh, that was all it said. Okay, so not interesting to me. There's a locker. It's an old beat-up locker. It doesn't look like there's much of importance inside, so I don't need to open it. Well, probably need to open that later. This stuff isn't here for just no reason. There was one more thing. Hold on. Uh, no, there was one more thing I didn't investigate, I don't think. I didn't investigate this thing. Looks like another Monokuma coin machine. There's even a dartboard here. Did Monokuma set this up, or was it already here? Or maybe not. It's just a place to earn Monokuma coins. Okay. Mono coins, mono bear coins, whatever. Mono bear and Monokuma are the same thing. What am I talking about? Okay, so I guess that was really it. That wasn't really interesting. Found Celeste, though. Of course she'd be in the rec room where all the games are. Kitty Kitty, you found anything, Miss Purple Lady? I used to like you, but now you're really boring. The third floor was unlocked this time. While briefly looking around, I saw both a physics lab and an art room. There's some sort of giant machine in the physics lab. I wonder what it's for. Uh, you probably know what it's for, you dick. You just like to withhold information because you're stupid. I'm sorry, but she withholds information all the time that would be debt that would be important to us, you know, surviving. Wait, what? Why is this area suddenly gray? Ooh, what is this? Is this an elevator? Or is it a room? Oh, it's a room. It's oh. Oh my. What is this room? This is the physics lab? It looks less like a lab for a classroom and more like a research laboratory. Hey, Ishimaru, you doing okay? Hey, Ishimaru, it looks like we're in some sort of laboratory. No good. He's not responding. Oh, Ishimaru. He makes me so sad because he just got a best friend and now he's dead. I can tell it's some kind of machine, but not, the, not being that familiar with physics, I don't have the slightest idea of what it does. Why is Ishimaru in a physics lab, though? Why Ishimaru? What on earth is this monstrous machine? Ah! Okay, hi. Watch out! W what? You want to leave through time? What? That's a time machine! Pretty sweet, eh? One of the students here built it. She was a former student who died in the dregs of despair. The super high school level physicist. A time machine? Is it true? Can it travel to the past? If so, then allow me to go. If I can return to the past, if I can return, I'll be able to stop, bro! Out of the question! The time machine can only go back one minute! It's perfect for those times you accidentally leave your cup of ramen sitting a minute too long! One minute? Hmm, you disappointed? It was all a lie anyway. We ain't got no time machines here. Nope, nope! What? It's actually an air purifier! An air purifier? It's a fine piece of tech that can provide oxygen in any number of conditions! You would even live on Mars- you could even live on Mars with it! Well, there's still the problem of temperature and gravity, so you actually probably couldn't. Anywho, the reason you guys have to breathe- you have clean air to breathe is because of this sucker. Try not to poke around too much and break it. Hmm. This big machine is just an air purifier? But forget that. Ishimaru. He went out of his way to throw salt in Ishimaru's wounds. Damn it. 
What a dick. They got a mana coin for that? Really? Ugh, oh, what a dick. Um, okay. Looks like I investigate some stuff. Like this cabinet over here. Um, looks like equipment for physics experiments? Aside from the files, there are pulleys, plates, magnets, and some stuff I've never seen before. Yeah, I don't get physics. It doesn't click for me. I can barely do environmental science. <sighs> I'm awful at environmental science, though, to be totally honest. It's like a junior level class that I can't even do it. Yep, there's a security camera here, too. Thanks for noticing. That's what I needed. Okay, what? What is, is it the door? Um, I'm trying to investigate whatever is here, but there's nothing. Like, I cover over it and nothing happens. Oh, is it just the door? Yeah, it's just the door. Okay, uh, I can investigate the screen. Does that do anything? You know, what? I'm just gonna leave. Can I leave? Or wait, is this a door to somewhere else? Oh, it's the door to somewhere else. Okay. Ah, this is a preparation room for the physics lab. I'm guessing. It's a bit of a jumbled mess, and it smells of chemicals. <laughs> I feel so at home here. Ah, it's not. Here we go. The smell of formaldehyde really turns me on. Ah, I just want to soak myself in it. The more genocider enjoys herself, the less I like this place. Yeah, same here. She's very creepy, but I still love her. <laughs> Pendulums, wheels, rails, it's stuffed with equipment for experiments. It's all covered in layers of dust. And it looks like these things haven't been used in a long time. Well, I would assume not. Uh, go back that way. Uh, I'm trying to investigate the stuff on the ground. Maybe it could be useful. These are vinyl sheets. Nothing about them seems out of the ordinary. Perfectly normal vinyl sheets. Hmm. Because you said perfectly normal, I have a strange feeling that they're not perfectly normal. Just a camera... Oh, I can investigate these things over here. They're just like, like cabinets, though. I'm guessing these are files and research reports from past experiments. Yeah, see, nothing interesting. Yeah, I guess so. Is there anything else I need? It doesn't look like I can leave this room yet. Unless it changed. Nope, I can't leave this room yet. There's a camera. What is this? What do we have here? It looks like a digital camera with some sort of bizarre anime character on it. It's a little dusty, but it seems to power on just fine. I think we can use this. I'll show everyone else later. Okay, now I can leave. I saw it and I'm like, wait a minute, can I get to that? Well, that was an interesting find. I don't know why it's all the way back here though. That's weird. Um, What's down this way? Oh, more, oh my God, there's more floors. Okay, school zone. Okay, so I guess that just means there's more school shit up there. Wasn't there an art room though? Where's the art room? Um. Oh, I guess down here. Uh. Oh, wait, this is the art room. Oh, God. Here we go. Ooh, it's very nice in here. Of course Ifumi's in here. From the looks of it, this is an art room. No, it feels kind of strange in more ways than one. All right, Ifumi. What bullshit do you have to spew at me? Well, 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 what a fine establishment this is. My artsy sense is tingling. Not only is there a bounty of painting supplies. Painting supplies. Why can't I read right now? Not only is there a bounty of, bounty of painting supplies, there's quite the selection of sculpting tools! You're into sculpting, Yamada? Generally speaking, I partake not, a, not of the 3D world, but ah, uh, figures are different. They're practically 2D! Not sure how he's defining practically. <laughs> I'm particularly fond of the works of Shadambo, Pumpkinhead, and Saboru Rapongi. Mama Cat exemplifies Jarambo's distinct style, though his sublime rendering of the feline form. I'm sorry, I'm really messing up his voice. Cause it sounds a lot like Monokuma and I can't figure out what I did differently. Anyways, Pumpkinhead produces the highest class fairy model prototypes of anyone this century. Sabota Roppongi, master of the posable figure, went overseas proselytizing about mech girls. <laughs> all of whom are perfectly suited to be named the Elite Four of the figure world. The Elite Four? But there's only three. <laughs> elite Three simply sounds foolish! <laughs> Furthermore, the reason why he remains unclaimed precisely to for myself. <laughs> And so begins the legend of Hifumi Yamada, conqueror of the apocalypse. Okay, good luck with that. I really hate Hifumi. I really fucking hate Hifumi. I want him dead. Ventus de Milo. Fitting for an art room. I don't know what Ventus de Milo is, but... The wall is plastered with drawings. It looks mostly like half-hearted scribbling, but I guess that could be art too. Why is the same... Why are the same pictures repeated like over and over again? Lack of budget. All right, who's sculpted the Monokuma? A Monokuma statue? Who on earth made this thing? Though it's surprisingly well done. Maybe Monokuma himself made it because he's you know, self-centered. There's like a stray picture all the way over here. Why that? 
Oh, there's little lockers over here, little cubbies. Cubby lockers. There are lockers here, but there doesn't seem to be anything inside. Hmm, maybe there will be. Looks like I can investigate this Medusa looking thing. It's a Neo statue. I've never heard of a Neo statue being used as a model. Hmm. It looks like a Medusa thing. Uh, where does this go? Ooh, more art stuff. Who's in here? Oh, uh, what the fuck? This is a storage room connected to the art room. Why is there a picture of Mondo and Leon? What the? Cr oh, and Chihiro. There's something on the floor. It looks like a photograph. I reached my hand down to pick it up and stopped. What the crap? Huh? There, in the picture, were the deceased Fujisaki, Kawada, and Owada. And on top of that, they were smiling. What the heck is this? Question after question flooded my mind. Why the three of them? Why are they together? Why are they smiling? When was it taken? Who took it? Where's the camera? Where was it developed? Plus, on the windows in that classroom. No iron plates? That means the picture wasn't taken at Kibogamini Academy? Before I had any time to answer those questions, they were forcefully expelled from my mind. And eh, Monokuma. Give it back! That's mine! Monokuma appeared out of the blue, interrupting my thoughts, and swiped the photograph. Oh, did you see it? Them some nice smiles, huh? They're enjoying the academy life. It's like a page out of the book of youth. What do you know about that? Oh, not that was not Monokuma, sorry. What do you know about that picture? Not telling. So maybe they went to the same school or something. Hey, where'd you go? My cries fell on deaf ears. Hmm. Whew, well... I've made a number of unusual discoveries, but they're far but they're a far cry from what I'd call clues. I'm not sure what to make of it all. I'll go meet with everyone in the cafeteria and see what they think. Well, I guess I'll head that way then. Why was Leon with Mondo and Chihiro? That's weird. Hmm. Only Asahina's here. As soon as I stepped in the cafeteria, my eyes were drawn to <gasps> Asahina? Confused, I called out for her, but my voice was drowned up by the voice of another person who had just arrived. Asahina! Asahina! Huh? Eh, weren't you supposed to be sick? Everyone rushed past me and gathered around Asahina. Asahina looked uncomfortable being surrounded by so many people. Asahina. Are you all right now, Asahina? <laughs> yep, I had some donuts, and so I'm feeling much better. You really like donuts, don't you? Mm. Did you not say you had a stomach ache? <laughs> it's like the stomach ache made me hungry. <laughs> My memory's a little jumbled. Mm. Instead of goldfish, we'll eat whatever it is given, regardless of the condition of its stomach. Ooh. Reminds me of a certain someone, Master Aoi Asahina. Hey, you're the last person I want to hear that from. I was worried about you. I I'm sorry. Hey, you! W what is it? You got some honking milkers, don't ya? What's that take, like a gallon a day? Get away from Asahina! Uh, anyway, how about we hold one of those investigation report meetings things, eh, Ish? And he's not talking. Then it's settled, dudes! Oh my god, my throat really hurts. Okay, we're gonna do this in the next episode because I really need some water. That last little growl, like, took out my throat, so. Hope y'all enjoyed this episode of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc, and I will see you guys in the next video. Keep calm and party conservatively.